Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day this video finds you. It's your boy Jay here. We're going uh, back at it again with builds to consider heading into Sunbreak. And today, you guys have voted and uh, Insect Glaive came out on top. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about Insect Glaive builds to consider heading into Sunbreak. All right. Now, before I even start actually talking about the build, let me talk about um, Kinsex. Let me talk about Kinsex. These two. The Monarch Al Alucanid and the Carnage Beetle. Okay. Uh, both of these is as you can see that Kinsec bonus dual color. Okay. And it says attack. So what this means is uh, when you send out your Kinsec, you're gonna pick up two essences instead of one. Alright. So let's uh let's go demonstrate it. So as you can see, look at the bug icon, right? And uh, boom, let's send it out the head. Pow. So it picked up a white and a red essence. You pull it back. Boom. I got white and red immediately off jump. Oh, uh, no. Not not the... Hold on. Let me see. Is the stomach the... Hold on. Come back. Come back. And I think the stomach... Yeah. So the stomach will give you the orange and you get red essence. And then when you call it back, pow. You, you're all buffed up. That's one, two, three right there. So it's as easy as sending out your Kinsec twice. Boom. 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 Bang, right? So that's why I always rock one of those two bugs. And um, I'm quite partial to blunt damage. You know, I'm a hammer main, so I'm always looking for some KOs, right? So, uh, yeah. Now, this um, this may actually end up having some decent synergy with the new move, uh, Kinsect Slash, right? The mid-air technique where, like, you thrust with the glaive, with the, with the insect in front of you when you do this. But instead of doing all that, you're going to do it with the Kinsect in front of you. So I'm thinking if you have... A, uh, a double kinsect on you you might pick up two essences uh, however if if you do pick up the uh, the attack extract you're gonna do like some special dive attack it requires further testing and we don't have the game in hand yet but um, yeah so I always consider running one of those uh, because you know two extracts are better than one so it doesn't matter if it's a little slower because you only have to send it out twice and not three times in order to pick up all three of your extracts you know you feel me boom Wow, that's it. All three picked up just like that. Easy peasy. And you always have a red. So you'll always have your good combos. You feel me? And of course, like with Sunbreak coming in, we're going to get new Kinsex anyway. So yeah, but heading into it, you always want to have the bomb Kinsex on you. Okay. All right. So that being said, now that that little uh, tangent is out of the way, we're going to talk about my favorite. Um, my This is my go-to. Go-to. Uh, what is the insect glaive build right here, man? I freaking love this thing. Um, let's talk about it. It's the highest of glaives, okay? Now, looking at these stats, it's not crazy attack. 170 attack, but you got 25 power up, and you've got a fat three slot down there, which I have jammed um, handicraft in there so we can get that sliver of white. Now that we got that sliver of white, you already know protective polish and speed traveling are coming into play. But I really like this glaive because um, you're going to really rack up the Paris so, so quick, right? I mean, just looking at um, the once you have all your essences, which is super quick, boom, right? Look at all these hits. Boom, all those hits. Right, you do that three times. Boom, 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 boom. Pair it with your diving wyvern. Pow! Look at that. You're getting a para. Easy. Look at that. So I love this thing, uh, especially when you eat. Like, um, if if you eat for specialists, you'll be getting paras off like crazy. Super fun build. Super fun play style. This is my go-to, go-to when it comes to Insect Glaive, all right? So, uh, yeah, let's break down all of it. Kaiser Crown is here for the crit boost, the critical eye. I threw on a speed sharpening on top of it. Uh, Baroth Mail is here in full force. You already know how much I love, love, love me some Baroth Mail. Um, threw in an attack boost on top with the two defense boosts, right? Coming with the Baroth Mail. This piece, I just... It's so good, right? Rathalos braces are here. Oh, oh, oh not not thou strags. Would you look at that? Anyway, two attack boosts, threw on a protective polish on there. Angie coil is here as usual, a mainstay. Um, threw on another attack and two speed sharpening. And then I got the Damascus Grease for the other two points of handicraft, so that we can get the highest of glaives. Uh, the highest of glaives, yeah, the highest of glaives to white sharpness. 
and then I threw on a flinch free deco just in case you guys want to take this online. You know, when you go online with it, you're not getting knocked around by, you know, your fellow hunters. You know, it's one slot. You toss it in there. And then my charm, my charm, my charm. Um, this is the same charm I used in the uh, the heavy bowgun builds. Um, it's, it's an evade extender three with a three slot and a one slot. Mm incredible right and then fire resistance on top just to boot just sprinkled on top of there. there's a little leftovers but whatever i'm really here for the ee level three um <laughs> and then i gemmed in a protective polish and a defense boost okay now evade extender level three is an excellent skill i mean look at this look at this this is flying raijin jutsu right here you're the fourth hokage you can teleport at will so long as you have stamina however on the insect glaive it also works in the air Bakao! look at that the mid-air evade is also affected by evade extender. So, you know, look at all this mobility. With two bugs. I mean, it's crazy, right? So that's why I highly, highly recommend you carry evade extender 3 um, in, in your insect glaive uh, builds. Let me show you guys what it looks like without it. Let me just put on a little boo-boo charm. Uh, I don't know, this. Did I just take it off? Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Um, let, me, let me just show you the difference because let's see i was around here and then I, when i when i did my mid-air evade i ended up all the way on that hill over there yeah barely even made it to the hill last time i was up here by the water boy you know what i'm saying so look at how big of an effect not having evade extender three is right i mean i can barely make it all the way around the mecha tetra from the spot i was at so let me go put on that uh that ee3 again um Let's do it this way. No. Well, yeah, I could do it this way because it was in the front, right? Oh, no. I lost it. That's okay. Not a big deal. We're going to go to equipment loadouts and re-put it on. Back out, back out, back out. Ooh, boy, I teleport. That teleport go crazy. All right. And then from where was I? I was about here-ish. Bang. Look at that difference, man. Look at this. Boom. Boom, boom, like huge difference uh, to your mid-air evades, right? And, um, you know, it looks like insect glaive is gonna, uh, aerial insect glaive is gonna be getting quite a bit of buffs, you know, in between uh, both the Kinsect Slash and the Awakened Kinsect Attack. It's, it's gonna be so much fun to play glaive. Um, so I'm not really surprised that you guys voted for it, but let's look at, boom, this view right here. So in this build, we got max criti critical uh, attack boost, right? We're going to kind of need this for this glaive because it does not have a lot of attack on it anyway. So you get the crit you get the attack boost 7, right? For the 10%, which is 17, plus another 10. So 27 boost in raw. Pretty cool. Uh, critical I3. Easy to snag because of the tails to helmet, right? Uh, and then handicraft 3, right? Two on, two on the greaves and then one in the 3 slot. That's on the glaive itself. Um... And then we got we got the level three defense boost, right? For the five percent boost extra, just to you know, just just so the master rank monsters don't uh, end up super super destroying us when we head in there. EE three evade extender three, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. It's incredible. I mean, hell, you could probably get away with evade extender two if you don't have like a super guard charm that has level three, um, or you can find somewhere to put it in on your build. A um, couple armor pieces have evade extender on it. And Evade Extender, a Jumping Jewel, is only a level 2 slot, so you can find some place to do it, whether it is you got to sacrifice some attack boost, or uh, maybe a point of protective polish, or, you know, just, you can find somewhere to put it. Uh, 2, protective polish, which is, which is good. It's not the best, but, like, hey, 60 seconds is plenty amount of time um, for you to, you know, work with the sliver of white sharpness that we managed to get through the Handicraft 3. Speed sharpening 3, so... It doesn't matter that we're sharpening more. It's just one pass on the whetstone. It's cool, right? Uh, Critical Boost 1 comes with a tail helmet. The tail helmet is, like, best in slot. Like, it's a pretty easy, like, yeah, just put it. You know what I mean? And then Flinch Free 1 so that you don't get knocked around by your teammates when playing Glaive. But even though, even if you do play, like, the aerial style, you won't be getting knocked around too much. But um, the ground combos are the biggest damage of the Insect Glaive despite... Um, you know, it being the aerial weapon, so to speak, right, so, yeah, cool, so that's the first build, we are moving on to the next one, oh yeah, manage equipment, 
Quick loadouts. Let's go. Oh, yeah. You knew this was going to be here. You knew exactly what's going on here. You know I got to give you guys 100% crit build. So, we are here yet again with the Evening Calm, which is the... Narga Kuga Insect Glaive, okay? Comes with 40% affinity, uh, natural white sharpness, so we don't have to slot in handy craft. 198 attack and 40% affinity, which is incredible, incredible, incredible. Um, and I think I gemmed in protective polish on here. Why won't it tell me? Where are you? Where are you? Why won't it tell me? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I gemmed in protective polish, right? Kaiser Crown is here. Um, really really helps bring up uh, the 40% right you get three more so you get 15 plus 15 and then plus 40 so you get 55% affinity just base standing around plus crit boost because we're going to be doing crits right 100% crit so instead of landing um, 1.25 damage you're going to land 1.4 damage incredible incredible gotta have it gotta have it plus the speed sharpening so we can help upkeep that white you already know protective polish is here as well uh, and then I ran this in Ogre Mail uh, for the one point of weakness exploit plus the latent power. So we got even extra crit on top when certain conditions are met. <laughs> and then I gemmed in a speed sharpening on there. Foul Strikes Braces. You knew these were going to be here as soon as you saw the Narga Kuga. Uh, two Wex, right? Helps round out the Wex from Zenogar Mail. And I got another point of protective polish in there. Um, attack boost three because the Andra coil goes crazy. So I got three points of attack boost, a speed sharpening, and a flinch free to take this build online. The golden Hakama rounds out the rest of the critical boost uh, paired with the Kaiser crown, right? And another point of latent power. So even more extra affinity just sprinkled on top like salt bait. We sprinkle an affinity all up in this build, baby. Um, so yeah. And then I got two points of stun res there. And then, of course, the charm is the Evade Extender 3 uh, with the three slot and the one slot. And uh, on those slots, I have in an attack boost and a stun resistance, okay? Super, super easy to get 100% affinity on this build. Let's look at it at uh, the chart view. So, mm, excuse me attack boost four to get that five percent bonus right instead of just attack plus nine we get uh five percent on top of 180 which is nine plus seven 16 right so we go from nine to 16 with one two slot you, you know what i mean so attack boost four um is a pretty good uh you know like cutoff point if you if you can't get max attack boost you can stop at four because you're still gonna get that five percent bonus which is really 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 really, really good right uh, and it, this this bonus, this percent bonus is going to get bigger in Master Rank 2. So keep that in mind, right? Because it's a percent bonus. So when we start getting up to the the, um, the weapons that have 250, 300, 320 raw, that bonus is going to get even bigger. So do keep that in mind. Um, Critical Eye 3, just to make sure that we have above 50% affinity when standing around because the weapon has natural 40. Max crit boost, so we're doing 1.4 times damage per crit, which is 100% of the time before hitting weak spots. Um, and then weakness exploit, right, which is 50% uh, affinity on a weak spot paired with the 40 and the, the critical eye. We've been here before. <laughs> we keep doing this with every weapon because it's just so freaking good. Um, Evade Extender 3 is here via the charm. Uh, extra mobility for aerial glaive if you so choose to play that way um stun res 3 is here we don't even get stun no more um so like some of those wonky super tall vertical hitboxes when like i don't know rathian does a charge underneath you and you still get hit and you like game i was above her you know you might get hit a couple extra times and then you end up stunned and then you end up carding that ain't gonna happen with this build you got stun res uh, speed sharpening three, one pass on the whetstone. We're good to go. Latent power two uh, increases affinity by twenty percent when certain conditions are met. I think it's after a certain amount of time. Anyway, increases affinity by twenty percent, so sixty percent affinity plus the fifteen percent critical eye. We're at seventy-five percent affinity if we're not hitting a weak spot. Incredible, which makes the crit boost three even more potent than it already was, right? So this is unusual for my hundred percent crit builds. Usually I focus on getting to fifty percent and then pairing it with max wex. But this build has managed to go above and beyond and damn near get hundred percent all the time. It's crazy. Um two protective polish, right? You're gonna get sixty seconds of extra white on top of the white that the weapon already has. 
And then the flinch free is here so that you can take this build online. Dragon Heart and Fire Resistance are leftovers from the Charm and the Valstrax Braces. Alright, so you already know what it is, man. You already know what it is, bro. I mean, it's... <laughs> we you gotta rock the the hundred percent. I mean, look at this two fifty attack, fifty five percent affinity. Um, it, it's looking it's looking good. It's looking good, man. And if you hit weak spots, it's a hundred percent crit every time. So if you see yellow numbers, you going crazy. You know what I mean? I missed, but whatever. That's the hundred percent crit build. You knew this was coming. You knew this was here. Now let's go into a build you didn't know was coming, right? Hmm. I'm sucking on a cough drop right now. I'm still a little bit sick. Uh, I'm hoping not to cough all up in your ear. You know what I mean? This glaive right here is very, very interesting to me. All right. The final build. We got a blast build for you, baby. Um, 260 attack. Well, no, no, no. Let me. Yeah. 200 attack, 33 blast, and three one slots. Now, the problem with this one is I could not get white sharpness out of it okay so this is going to be a very early build you're probably going to replace it really soon because don't get me wrong blue sharpness will probably work in master rank but it's less than ideal right because the goal is to get to purple <laughs> purple is the goal white is good white is where we want to be at and blue is like hey bro sharpen you know you feel me but we're we're starting with blue here but you know in the beginning some blue is gonna be all right now towards the the back end of master rank i i, I don't want to see no blue sharpness nowhere it's purple it's white that's how we do it however in the beginning might be able to get away with some blue so that's why i chose this because it has a good raw and it's got a good um status with blast right you're gonna be doing extra extra damage it's just that i couldn't get to um white sharpness here but you know we're gonna use protective polish and speed sharpen to upkeep that blue as long as possible right so death stench brain that's why it's here it's two protective polish off the rip it's one protective polish through the head itself and then i, I threw on another protective polish in the uh, two slider it comes with zenogra mail is here for the wex and the latent power so that you know we have we have some crit to work with you know what i mean we're not going to get to 100 percent crit here um but we have some crit to work with yeah and then i threw on a flinch free so that you can take this online and you know enjoy hunting with your fellow hunters andra Va andra van braces is here okay van what andra van braces i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain uh comes with slugger 2 and attack too, and then I threw on a stun resistance, okay? Now, why the hell did you go for Andra Van Braces? Because I wanted the extra slugger. Why the hell do you want slugger on an insect glaive, okay? Remember I remember in the beginning how I told you I like running that blunt kinsect, right? Um, so, with the blunt kinsect, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, do some KO damage when you hit the head. And looking at kinsect slash, right, this new move that we're going to be able to use in uh, Sunbreak. The midair technique where you thrust forward with your glaive and kinsect. So when when you see him do it in the trailer, the kinsect is in front of him as he does the uh, the lunging attack, right? As he does this attack. Hold on, let me. This one right here, right? So instead of it being a cut, I think you might be able to change this to a blunt attack, right? And if that's going to be the case, you can you can probably rack up a decent amount of KO by you know aiming well. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bacow, that would have been a hit, you know what I'm saying? That might not have been stunned. I mean, it's kind of hard to aim, but hey, it's something I want to entertain. And that, plus the other new move that they showed us, the Awakened Kinsect Attack, where you yeet the Kinsect. I mean, if, if I'm yeeting the Kinsect, it's going to do KO damage because I'm running that blunt Kinsect, you know what I mean? So um, I think you're going to be able to get off more stuns than you think um than you would think you know intuitively right so that's why i went with the angel van braces here um you know you're gonna be you're gonna be able to do it doing that the the new kinseg lunge attacks and the kinseg yeet and then gathering the 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 insect the kinseg buffs off the head i think you're gonna get a fair amount of ko's from this build so slugger just kind of enables that play style and helps you do it you know what i mean so that being said we move on to the angel coil uh, with two more attack boosts, uh, I threw on a protective polish and two levels of stun res. And then down here, we got the Hunter's Greaves S, okay? So we got one stun res, um, two attack boosts, and then I threw on the rest of the Wex, right? Because Wex here, 
wax here or do I have wax right here? Yeah, I got wax right here in the in the talisman. The same talisman that we've been using this whole time. Uh, the Vedic Center 3 with the 3 slot. Throw on that uh, Weakness Exploit and a Stamina Thief, right? Because if you're using Blunt, right? I just had an extra 1 slot. Why not throw it in if you're going to be using that new move with the Kinsek? Hitting all these Blunt, you know what I'm saying? Hitting all these Blunt attacks. You might as well run a little bit of Stamina Thief. So you're going to be getting KOs. You're going to be making the Monster Jewel. You're going to be doing all your new fancy... Uh, Insect glaze stuff. It's gonna be dope as hell. It's gonna be dope as hell. So checking this build out We got attack boost six. I wasn't able to get max um, Attack boost. I mean you probably could sacrifice one point of weakness exploit for it, but like I don't know weakness exploit is the best skill in the game 50% affinity on weak spots like <laughs> it goes crazy, you know But you know, hey, it is what it is got me a stun rest three Weakness Exploit 3, Protective Polish 3, so that we can upkeep that blue as long as possible. And, I mean, you're probably going to end up replacing this Glaive pretty soon because it only has blue sharpness. Or maybe, maybe, maybe in the beginning you can upgrade it pretty soon and then you'll have the white sharpness that you, that you so desire. And you can keep all of the benefits that come from using this Glaive, like the Blast and the High Raw. Hmm, maybe, maybe. EE3 comes from the Charm, Speed Sharpness, Speed Sharpening 3 also and then um slugger two right uh because i like running that blunt kinsect and we're gonna be getting those ko's on those new insect glaive moves hopefully hopefully this one's a little speculative uh we won't know until we get the game in our hands but hey it's worth a shot it's worth a shot you know what i'm saying i'm a hammer bro and uh i, I like i like going for the head and getting those ko's man it's just <laughs> it's what i like about uh monster hunter man so yeah and then stamina thief and flinch free are here um, fire resistance is a little bit of leftovers, and latent power is a little bit of leftover. But latent power is going to help you. Uh, you know, during that time, you're going to have an extra 10% affinity. Uh, you know, so you'll get 60% on uh, the wex. You know, when you when you do it. But uh, yeah, that has been insect glaive builds to consider heading into sunbreak. All right. So uh, yeah, thank thank you everyone for voting in the poll last time. Uh, I'm going to put up a new poll this time with some of the same options, but I'm going to take Insect Glaive out and put in a new weapon because, well, <laughs> we're here. We did Insect Glaive, right? So, yes, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Um, if I miss anything, maybe you guys are using different glaives or maybe there's different skills that you prioritize. Tell me about your builds. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I could, uh, you know, do better because, you know, feedback's very important to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I read every single comment that comes across this channel. You know how it is. You know how it is. But, uh, yes, guys, look out for the next weapon poll. After this one goes up, uh, I'll probably post a new poll and just let it ride for maybe a day, day and a half, two days see where you guys are at and based on what you guys vote on the video is going to be coming i know i already asked you to but check and make sure you're subscribed okay make sure you're subscribed and you participate in those polls and leave a like down below so more people can see these builds and you know be set for sunbreak all right we're we got 31 days well really 30 because today is over <laughs> i'm recording this at like 10 p.m uh so today is over we got 30 days till sunbreak baby and i'm so hyped a few more weapons left to do i'm probably gonna save the hammer for last so it won't show up in the polls um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully we get a demo and, you know, I'll be covering the demo too, but I've dragged this out long enough. People, as always, happy, happy hunting. Peace.